Anson Scoro, BJPin.com, standing next to a victorious Doug, the Rhino Martin. Man, you went in there just like your name, dude. You went in there, put in work. Um, it looked like your opponent didn't want to stand and bang with you. It looked like he, uh, he, he, he it just looked like he, uh, he, he wasn't wanting to have you lay hands on him. Uh, no, he didn't want to stand and bang at all. And it didn't work out well for me at first, you know what I mean? Like every time I try to come in and touch him, he'd be down biting my ankles, boom, put me on my back, trying to grind me out, you know what I mean? Pity pat, pity pat, pity pat. Uh, you know, I was able to get a nice little head kick on him, but before I could come through and finish, bam, on my back again, got up, need him, on my back again. You know, it was kind of a back and forth uh, battle, but the judges seen it my way, so hey, I'll take it. Well, and I think the fans saw your way too. The fans were definitely cheering for you when you wanted the fight to be stood back up. We saw you talking to the ref. When it goes to the judges' scorecards like that, how worried are you that, you know, the wrestling is going to dictate the aggression? Well, you know what? I think we've seen it a lot before in uh, other MMA fights. The guy doesn't do anything. He just takes you down and holds you there, um, and he gets the fight. When we were standing there, I was kind of thinking in my mind, I'm like, well, you know what? He did his job. He took me down, held me there you know, tried to make love to me. And uh, when they announced that one of uh, the judges seen it my way, I was like, well, you know what? I did put in work, you know what I mean? I, I, I did some damage. When they announced that second one seen it my way and I got that split, man, I almost jumped through the roof, man. Yeah. And I was I was happy. I, I, I'm not a big fan of, of uh, the, the, the GSP style, the lay and pray, you know what I mean? Like, I come to fight, I like to push forward. I like to hit motherfuckers in the face uh, and Dudes don't like that. You know what I mean? They don't like that at all. All right, man. So the finals are set. Uh, how do you think this final is going to turn out? Uh, do you think that uh, you're going to have to worry about being held down in this final, or do you think you got an opponent that's going to stand and bang with you? I don't think Brett Cooper is going to stand and trade with me, not even a little bit. Uh, he's a grinder. He's a tough fighter. He has uh, great techniques. I don't think he carries a lot of power. Um, mark my words, if he stands and trades with me, it'll be his downfall and it'll be a, an easy night for me. I'm predicting he's gonna get pat, 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 clinch. Single leg, double leg, clinch, single leg, double leg. So I'm just gonna be working my wrestling. Uh, you know, I, I, I guess uh, lay, lay off the, the, the pad work and the tie techniques, work a little more wrestling, keep it standing, and uh, that's gonna improve my chance of winning. All right, man, before we let you go, uh, how soon before we see you back in the gym? Oh, man, you know, I gotta be honest, it's Thursday, I'll be back Monday. You know, they, they put a seven-day uh, no whatever bullshit, but that don't fly with me in my gym. At Elite Team, we train hard. You know what? <clears throat> in, in, that's the first fight that's ever went 15 minutes. I have one other decision on my record, and it was because they were only three-minute rounds. I felt like my cardio wasn't too bad. He wore me out a little bit, but I was still able to push forward. You know what I mean? So... Uh, I'm going to work my cardio, and I'm going to put uh, Brett Cooper to the test. He's a tough guy. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, but you know what? I think the Rhino's coming out with the 100 Gs. Bang. You heard it here first, guys. Anton Scoro, BJPin.com, the Rhino.